Well, anglers might need to check how much time they have off. Idaho Fish and Game stocked about 1,800 catfish in four ponds in eastern Idaho. Maybe worth a trip for you. Fish and Game says it added the catfish because the warm temperatures make trout lazy during the summer and less likely to feed aggressively. That's why you haven't been catching the trout. <laughs> On the other hand, catfish, they thrive in hot water. But if you want to catch a catfish, Fish and Game stocked lakes near Idaho Falls and Rexburg, so your chances are better over there. If you make the trip, here's a tip. Fish and Game says change things up a bit. Fish on lake bottoms and you should be able to hook plenty of catfish. Fisheries manager Brett High says a hook sinker and a worm are all you should need to get into catfish. He says he likes to let them chew on it for a little bit before setting the hook to make sure that they are committed. Catfish aren't the prettiest of fishes, though, no, I will say that. But you, as you know, living in Tennessee, yeah. they're good eating, though. They, they can be. Darn good eating. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes all you got to do is stick your hand in there and let them just kind of <laughs> bite on your fingers. Just three things you need. That's all you need. Yeah. That yeah. all sounded like an old wives' tale. Like, if you want to catch a catfish, yeah, it's that's, true. Why I <laughs> that's why I included that information, because I loved it. I was like, that's what we need to know if we want to go catfishing all in right, eastern Kim, Idaho. It's easy to do. Yeah. We're adding that to our summer bucket list, you know? <laughs> We're running it. out of time here, and it's a good day for some fishing, I suppose, especially if those catfish like the warm water because it's warm indeed.